Hi Star Owners! In this video, I will show you how you can import or bulk import wholesale prices their individual products via product CSV file. And it's very easy to do. We don't need to use any third-party plugins, but we're going to use the WooCommerce product import and export tool. So let's start. In this example, we're going to add a wholesale price for the product output. We're going to add a wholesale price so that when we export the CSV file to make sure that the wholesale price meta key is generated properly. And also for later, it will also help us find the wholesale price column when we export the product CSV file. And here we have the regular price of 15 and let's add say 10 for the wholesale price and click update. After updating the product, let's go back to the product settings and click export. Now, it's important to make sure that we enable the export custom meta key. And let's generate the CSV file. So here are the products that I have. And let's go ahead and find the product album. Okay, found it. This is product album. Now if we scroll to the right, these are the meta keys and we should find the wholesale price meta key here. This is the pen we've added earlier. So let's expand this column and you will see that the wholesale customer underscore wholesale price. This is by default the main wholesale price for the wholesale customer role. And if you have the wholesale prices premium, you will notice that the, we have the same format for other wholesale prices. It will just change the first part where this is the wholesale user role slug or key. So to, in order to add prices, let's just add some wholesale price here just for an example. Let's say we have nine so that we know that it's different from the one we've added, which is 10 earlier and let's just copy the wholesale prices 9 to the other products just for example and let's save it. After saving, let's go back to the, our backend of our site and to our old products to import the product CSV file. Then click import. Now let's choose the file and since we're updating our products, make sure we enable this checkbox to update existing products. And let's continue to the next setting. Now we are in the map CSV fields to products. By default, it's usually set automatically, but to, just to make sure that the wholesale, wholesale customer and wholesale price is set as import as metadata so that the importer will gather or get the data from the CSV file properly. And we have successfully imported the 24 products or updated the 24 products. Let's view the products now. As you can see in the wholesale price column, the wholesale prices are updated to the products. And uh, let's go ahead and check our product settings, the individual product. To check that the wholesale price field is filled properly from the CSV file that we've imported earlier. And that's how easy we can add wholesale prices or bulk import wholesale prices to our individual products. Stay tuned for the next video on how we can import quantity-based discount to our individual products via CSV file again. Thank you for watching.